Chapter 3 October 2004, Southern Iraq It's a quick job. Get in there and get it done. You'll be back up north in a couple of days. Jed scowled and tightened his grip on his weapon as the voice of his commanding officer echoed in his head. The guy was a tool. No city, no town. Hell, no single man was a safe bet in a war-torn country. Any fucker with a gun could blow your damned head off. He signaled to the man behind, calling him forward to take the lead. They were exposed out in the open of the town, targets for the hidden eyes that lurked behind the cracked windows and closed doors, tracking their every step. But the Iraqi security forces weren't going to train themselves. The Iraqi soldier moved ahead. Jed followed him along the eerily silent street until their patrol of twelve reached the end of the main road. Their base camp came into sight. He could smell ration packs being cooked over gas and cheap freeze-dried coffee. Coffee, yeah, that sounded good. A flash broke his vision and the world turned white. Silence. Jed smiled at the piece of it. He'd missed this. The tranquil rush of absolute quiet, a scarce commodity on active service. It was something he truly craved. Sometimes he sympathized with the venom in the eyes of the local women, the elderly crones who waved their sticks and threatened to claw his eyes out. Sometimes he thought he could cheerfully kill every one of his men for some sacred peace and quiet. Jed! He sighed. Damn it, didn't they know he was sleeping? He opened his mouth to tell them. Gas, the unmistakable scent of an IED, filled his senses, and his pleasant dream evaporated in a cloud of murky, choking smoke. Jed! He tried to roll over. Nothing happened. A weight pinned him down. Fuck. For a split second, it crossed his mind that the limbs he was trying to move were perhaps no longer there. Huh. Apathy filled him. He'd been freezing his balls off moments before, but now he felt warm, like the sleep he'd chased for the best part of a week was suddenly possible. Moving was hard work. Staying still was easy. Too easy. The weight crushing him lifted. Get up, Jay. Come on. We need to move. Jed stared into the wild eyes of his third-in-command as Luke grasped his shoulders and hauled him to his feet. Once upright, Jed surveyed his surroundings and his brain slammed back into place with a strange, vibrating thud. He took in the patch of ground where he'd been standing when the device went off.